you are only taking advantage of farmers headers clashes obaseki accuses apc hello my wonderful people you know um apc in edo states are constantly their nose is constantly on obaseki you know obaseki has to prove himself again and again to apc that is what's being the governor of the state they are watching him right closely right behind him seeing what is going on to ensure that he does what he's supposed to do you know as a matter of fact they are making him see his blind spot you know uh, the issue of what is on ground the kidnapping and all that you know uh, uh, whatever happens so basically like said they are using this as a yastic now to you know to say uh, you know things that they are not supposed to say please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you so much you are only taking advantage of farmers' headers clashes, Obaseki accused APC. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State has condemned the act of the ruling party APC in using the farmer header clashes to take advantage. He said they were scaring the citizens and using media and sponsored messages to scare Edo State citizens. Obaseke made his known while speaking with newsmen in Abuja. He warned those who are seeking for a position of leadership that they should stop instigating and adding more fire to the already tensed atmosphere we are experiencing now in the country. He said those who are pushing scary messages and accusing him of not giving grazing land in Edo when critical Ex when critically exam examined, are the ones spreading the fake news during election. He said the state is facing a huge problem and challenges arising from bandits, illegal loggers, and have that have taken over our Edo state forest. He said these illegal loggers will come to the state forest, cut trees, and leave. In the case of Okomo National Park which still stand as one of the last premise rainforests, is under threat from these loggers. They are armed, which makes it impossible for anyone to challenge them. Some of the rare species of the animals in the forest are being threatened, he said. He is in Abuja to rob mines with the ch chief of staff in providing national guard for the forest. He said the state government are in no business to provide land for headers. They are communities which the headers have been using in time past. They have arrangements with the host community. There is no land in Edo State that is to be used for, ra for cattle ranches. If anyone wants to do his private business, he should have a discussion with owners of the land, buy the land, or have a leasing arrangement. Should I go and take a family land and give to herders to go about their grazing business? Herding, having your cattle is your private business. He said he can make suggestion that the herders comes to a community. They can give a portion of growing grass and not trespassing on other farm land, which is majorly bound by contract between themselves and that host community not causing issues and asking for land that does not belong to them. So APC members in Edo State want Governor Gordon Obaseki to give land to headers. And you can tell APC government, so you see Edo State, if Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu won the election, he would have, now what would have been happening would have been, Edo State would have been one of the places where you would have had your cattle ranches as we speak. You would have had it by now, where the state would have, would have turned the state into a Ruga state. That's what's happening. And if you know what Ruga means in Hausa, please ask anybody that, you know, that word Ruga. It means to pursue. That's why Nigerians kicked against it from the very first instance to say, what do you mean? What do you mean every state should provide, is every, is every state going to provide land for the Afema people, for the Esako people? Is every state going to do that? So why do you have to not do that to these people? 
Why do you want Nigerians? Why do you want to make out something out of this, make it the compulsion out of it, and turn it to a violent situation? Why? What's the, wh why is it a must? So my people, this is what is currently on ground. This is what is happening now as we speak. They want a do state. They want the government. They want the government of a do state, Governor Gordon Obaseki, as a matter of, you know, urgency to give land, to give land to, you know, to to head us in a do state. So Go Governor Gordon Obaseki have to do it, you know, and are trying to really cause serious trouble and issue with this matter. So my people, what do you think? You know. Uh, Baseki is sending a serious warning that these are spreading fake news, spreading news uh, across the state that uh, uh, issues, uh, this and that are going on, all just to create tension, all to create tension in Edo State. But my people, let me tell you something. We all have to be security conscious. The days that we are in are days that everyone needs to be very careful. Everyone needs to really work with precision and to be careful to understand what is really on ground. There are clear indications that some persons do not mind the life of the people. All they care about really and truly is themselves. They don't mind what happened to Nigerians. Uh, you know, they can go about it any way, anyhow they want to do it to ensure that they come out being the one who is getting, you know, these things. You know, so if, for instance... You know, uh, uh, ba uh, Baseki has not won the Edo State election, so Ruga would have been, Edo State would have been a Ruga State by now. Can you see what is happening? Can you see what is on ground? Can you see what's really going on? That's what my people, that's why we are speaking up to say, you know what, these things are happening. You, you have to be careful, you know. Governor Gordon Obaseki says he's in uh, Buja at, at this point in time to discuss with the service chiefs to be able to provide security for the forest, you know, uh, so that they can, so that we can continue to maintain our forest reserved, you know. So there's some species that are endangered with, you know, people coming in, cutting, you know, woods are just leaving and what have you. So this is <laughs> Edo State, you know, the tension has been high. And at the moment, I don't think uh, Ushomole has anything to do with them. He's actually seeking his own political breakthrough to come back on the show. So he can't be bothered with everything or anything that's happening to them right now. But guys, leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.